It's small command, two letters, WC. If you have a file and you want to count the lines, the characters, the words and bytes and stuff like that, whether or not you're, it's a, a logs or data sets or just really check size of uh, any manuscripts you, you have, WC will give you a quick summary. There's really four functions uh, to WC. There's line count, where it obviously counts the number of lines. There's word count, so the total number of words. Uh, byte count, uh, for the total number of bytes. And file. And it, that tells you the name of the file that you've just processed. Okay, so I'm just going to show you um, a quick example. Um, I'm in the directory, and we'll just do an ls to list what's in this little uh, directory. And it's two files, two text files, called one called cities, one called counties. And if we have a look at cities, it gives you a small list. And if you do the same for counties, there's a slightly bigger list of the counties in the UK. I suppose, like, if you're in America, uh, it's states and cities. You know, it's the same kind of thing. So, to use WC, uh, say for instance we do WC cities, it will show you in a line uh, the numbers 8, 8, 103 and the word cities. So the first number 8 is the number of lines, the second number is the number of words, and the third number is the number of bytes. And the name of course is the file that you've just processed. And of course if we do the same thing to the other file, uh, WC counties. Again, it shows you there are 10 lines, 11 words, because the top one there, North Yorkshire, is actually two words, but one county. Uh, 143 bytes because of the uh, extra characters, and it tells you the file is counties. It's a very simple command, a very simple uh, output, I think. So if we do WC cities and then counties, it will do them both together, and it will give you a little aggregate score, as it were. Count them all up. So it tells you 8 and 8, and 1 or 3, 10, 11, 1, 4, 3, and the total at the bottom there is 18, 19, and 2, 4, 6. So I mean, that's pretty cool. So because of cleaning the screen, I'm just going to show the contents and I'll do this every time because it really does it makes it easy to follow by default WC will give all the information you want but if you want to just specify some like say for instance you put iPhone and L and cities it will just show you the number of lines so it won't show you the number of words or the bytes and of course if you want to do that to both there we go so it's the same information as before but more concise it's down to the very specific information that you want. Hyphen W will give you the number of words. Again, if we do both, it will give you the total as well. Clear that. So we've done lines, we've done words, and the next is bytes. You'd think it'd be B, wouldn't you, but it's C, so Hyphen C will give you the number of bytes in the text file. And counties again, if we add them both up, there's the total. Like I say, it's the same as when we just put in the just WC command, but you can specify what you want to show. One neat little trick you can do with WC is that you can pipe it. Um, so in this folder, in this directory, we've got two files. You've got the both files that we've seen quite a few times. And if you want to create some more, say for instance, uh, these are going to be blank, but I mean, I'm just going to put them in. And there's more than just two now, there's, there's eight in total. And if you wanted to say, for instance, um, want to know how many files or folders were in a directory, uh, use ls and then pipe that into wc hyphen l, and it'll show you that there are eight. eight files or directories in total in this one directory. So say for instance you wanted just to want to know how many 
things are in a particular thing without actually counting them, that will give you a quick summary, which is uh, pretty good. I know a lot of file managers will do that for you anyway, but it's good if you're on the console to know how to do it. Oh yeah, it's a very simple command. It's perhaps limited in scope of what it can do, but for what it does, it does it well. Hopefully you can use it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.